Hello RCSD students and families. We want to welcome you to this video that reviews the RCSD assessment, feedback, and grading policies and practices. As a reminder, the purpose of grades is to provide students, parents, and staff with honest and clear communication about how a student is doing academically as well as with their learning behaviors. There are four words we use to describe the learning levels in RCSD beginning and approaching for standard not met, and proficient and mastery for standard met. One update from last year is this year, you'll see numbers with each learning level. One, two for beginning, three, four for approaching, five, six for proficient, and seven, eight for mastery. This change came from feedback from students, parents, and teachers that the four levels were too broad and students could be at the lower or higher end of a level. This will hopefully improve feedback on student growth, meaning with proficiency, a student maybe went from a five now to a six. This will allow for coherence across the, all four middle schools as Ike was already using this system last year for IB grading. Within those levels, the goal is for all students to reach standard met, proficient or mastery by the end of the year. The reason we use the learning levels is students can both self-assess and get specific teacher feedback on areas of strength or areas for growth to improve learning. The levels allow teachers to provide clarity about a learning target and the criteria to reach each level. In RCSD, we report learning behaviors separately from academic grades. How a child is doing academically is important to report on and how they're doing with their learning behaviors is just as important and is reported separately. This year, instead of three areas, we're reporting on two areas, engagement or work completion, and students will receive scores of rarely, sometimes, or consistently, depending on if they're completing their work and engaged in class. These are reported at least halfway through each trimester and at the end of each trimester. Another practice in RCSD is to report formative and summative grades separately. Formative assessments are used to understand where a student is in the learning progression and the next steps to improve learning. It's important for students to practice and receive feedback on next steps to improve learning. Summative scores are used to determine whether students have learned what they were expected to learn. Think of formative as practice and summative as performance. We want students to be able to practice before receiving a final grade on what they know. The next part of this video will quickly show how you can find scores within Otis. Within Otis, go to the left-hand side and click Gradebook. From here, you can select which class you're looking for, and you can go over to the right, these three dots, and go to the grading scale. On the report card, we will report two areas, learning behaviors and summative scores. Formative is here for teachers to record how students are doing with their practice. Summative is the academic grade that will pull on the final report card. Within Otis, you'll see a number to the right of the level. So consistently here, I see the number five. That means there's been five scores entered for this standard. If I'd like more details on what assignments made up that score, I can click here and I can see the names of each assignment and the score. Once I'm in this screen, if I'd like to go back, I can click here and it'll take me back to this gradebook view. I can then find the scores in the other teacher's classrooms. A reminder that on academic scores, you'll see a score of one through eight. This student scored a five, which shows as proficient. We wanna thank you for taking the time to watch this video. We'll be providing students and parents additional resources throughout the year on how to view grades within Otis. If you have any questions about grading within your child's classroom, please reach out to your child's teacher or the site principal. Thank you so much.